Hello and welcome. I am Pastor Keith Walter from Christ Lutheran Church in Mililani Town in the island of Oahu in the state of Hawaii. Welcome to our Lenten responsive prayer for Wednesday, the 6th of April. This is the last of our Lenten responsive prayers for this uh, season. Uh, next week, we'll begin Holy Week with starting with Palm Sunday, this coming Sunday, April 10th, and then uh, Monday, Thursday, Good Friday, uh, Holy Saturday with an Easter vigil in the evening, and I, uh, then Easter sunrise, or not sunrise, well, the sun rises at 8 here. So it will be 8 a.m. and 11 a.m. services on Easter. I invite you to join us online or in person uh, for any or all of those. Okay, the first, the lesson really for this morning is from the first letter of Paul to the Corinthians, and I just said this morning, this evening. These, these words are some of my favorite when it comes to understanding the cross of Christ. For Christ did not send me to baptize, but to proclaim the gospel, and not with eloquent wisdom, so that the cross of Christ might not be empty of its power. For the message of the cross is foolishness to those who are perishing, but to us who are being saved, it is the power of God. For it is written, I will destroy the wisdom of the wise and the discernment of the discerning, I will thwart. Where is the one who is wise? Where is the scribe? Where is the debater of this age? Has not God made foolish the wisdom of the world? For since in the wisdom of God, the world did not know God through wisdom, God decided through the foolishness of our proclamation to save those who believe. For Jews demand signs and Greeks desire wisdom. But we proclaim Christ crucified, a stumbling block to Jews and foolishness to Gentiles. But to those who are called, both Jews and Greeks, Christ, the power of God, and the wisdom of God. For God's foolishness is wiser than human wisdom, and God's weakness is stronger than human strength. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. We continue then with responsive prayer and you can follow along uh, without it, but if you do wish to follow along with the liturgy, you can find it on our homepage, clcmilalani.org, and you may read the bold uh, responses. Together, uh, we will say the Lord's Prayer and the Apostles' Creed at the appropriate time. Holy God, holy and mighty, holy and immortal, have mercy on us. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial. And deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day he rose again. He ascended into heaven. He is seated at the right hand of the Father and he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. Show us your mercy, O God, and grant us your salvation. Give us the joy of your saving help again and sustain us with your bountiful spirit. 
Give peace in all the world, for only in you can we live in safety. Keep the nations under your care and guide us in the way of justice and truth. Let your way be known on the earth, your saving health among all nations. Let not the needy be forgotten, nor the hope of the poor be taken away. Create in me a clean heart, O God, and sustain me with your Holy Spirit. Lord, hear my prayer and let my cry come before you. The Lord be with you and also with you. A pule kako, let us pray. Almighty God, your Son came into the world to free us all from sin and death. Breathe upon us the power of your Spirit, that we may be raised to new life in Christ and serve you in righteousness all our days. Through Jesus Christ, our Savior and Lord, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. We pray for peace. Epule kako. O God, it is your will to hold both heaven and earth in a single peace. Let the design of your great love shine on the waste of our wraths and sorrows. Give peace to your church, peace among nations, peace in our homes, peace in our hearts. Through your Son, Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. And we pray for refugees, migrants, and immigrants. Epule kako. O God, as you guided the Israelites to a new land by pillars of cloud and fire, now travel alongside all people who seek safety from persecution and a better life. Especially do we pray for those fleeing violence in Ukraine. Provide them with what they need as they travel and guide them to places of welcome and sanctuary. We ask this in Jesus' name. Amen. We give thanks to you, Heavenly Father, through Jesus Christ, your dear Son, that you have graciously protected us today. We ask you to forgive us all our sins, where we have done wrong and graciously to protect us tonight. Into your hands we commend ourselves, our bodies, our souls, and all that is ours. Let your holy angels be with us, so that the wicked foe may have no power over us. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. Now, almighty God, bless us, defend us, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen.